Hey everyone, it's Brandon Bornanson here uh, with my good friend Ryan Butra, who, who works for a revolutionary e-commerce platform that helps people buy now and pay later. And I'm really excited to, to hear about his success story and share his story with you in the world. Uh, a rumor is he is winning and joining the Seven Figure Club Award. But before we get into details about the award, uh, Ryan, great, great to have you on the show today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brandon. Happy to be here. This is really exciting, man, because, um, you know, it's it, based on the results I know you're going to share, you, you know, you've, you've effectively won the Seven Figure Club Award, which, which we'll show off later on. But why don't you tell the audience and the listeners who you are, what your role is, and, and the company that you represent? Yeah, thanks for that. Um, so I'm Ryan Boonser, as, as Brandon had mentioned. Uh, I'm an account executive for Sezzle. So we're a buy now, pay later solution that was founded in Minneapolis back in 2016. So our whole goal and mission is to financially empower young consumers. So give them the ability to split purchases, whether it be something discretionary like um, a jacket or a shirt, some clothing, uh, apparel and accessories, or um, home goods that they may absolutely need. And the overall goal for them is to make it easier for them to pay for these things over time and focus on putting food on the table or paying rent. Um, but then to merchants, we realize that they're seeing these shoppers um, become much more valuable. So we're selling a platform to shoppers and our consumers in the US, Canada, and now in India. And then to retailers, we're trying to get them on board and realizing that offering a solution um, such as Sezzle is going to unlock uh, not only a new base of customers, but unlock new purchasing potential for those customers that are now aware of it. So, yeah, that's awesome. And, and so the the premise of this buy now pay later deal, like, so give me an example of of like how I would use you know use this tech. Yeah, great question. So I mean, like people like you and me, and I'll, I'll be completely honest, when I had my first interview back when I was still in school, um, applying to be an intern, what, almost two years ago now, um, I wasn't sure if it was even a product that I would personally use. I was kind of confused by it, um, just thinking about being someone who's been into fashion my whole life, and why would I split something up over time uh, to buy a jacket? You typically think of loans as buying a car or buying a house or something like that. But when you realize that it's coming at no added cost to you, there's no interest. The solution is designed to help your cash flow, and you can put uh, multiple paychecks in between paying off these installment purchases. It gives you the ability to do a lot more with your finances. Um, and so that's why it really the whole solution came about because, like I said before, it's, it's unlocking purchasing potential that you wouldn't have had before. If you look at a credit wow. card statement, you've got that back end in the back of your mind. If you miss a payment or if you're late, you're getting dinged with 20, 25% interest. And for some people, okay, maybe missing a payment and having to pay that one time is, it's going to hurt, but it's not going to be make or break. But there are many people in, in the US in particular that that could be absolutely devastating towards um, their financial future, especially if you look at their credit score. And so it's something like Sezzle where we're designed to not negatively impact their credit, make it really as easy of a platform to utilize. It takes one to two seconds to get approved. For a credit card, you could wow. be waiting a week and a half. So it's, it's an easy product to use and merchants see results right away. Um, we signed up a, a fashion um, and accessories retailer called Vitali out of Toronto a couple months ago. And within, I think, three days, we were processing 10% of their transactions and of those transactions, they saw 20% higher basket size than they would normally see with credit cards. So it's, it's very impactful. Yeah, that's amazing. The tech sounds amazing. The opportunity for consumers to buy things that they may have not been able to afford or would have skipped out. Like I, I was thinking about the, the cart size. The cart size would dramatically have to go up. Um, yeah. that, that's really cool. So you, and, and then, you know, who are you selling to? Who are you prospecting to? So I'm selling to retailers. Um, I actually moved to Toronto last August to open up our, our first Canadian or first international office, which is really exciting for me. Awesome. Congrats. Um, so I, thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's been great so far. We just launched on, on Sezzle.com our first Shop Canada directory. So before then, we were all focused on the U.S., all, basically an online catalog of all our U.S. retailers. Just launched one of nearly 1,000 Canadian retailers that we've signed up in less 
less than a year now. Um, so I'm selling to anyone from really SMB to enterprise size retailers, like a Best Buy in Canada. Um, but the main focus for us is transactions that are below a grand. So like I said before, you're, you're nearly or normally thinking about uh, installment solutions for higher ticket items, buying a washer and dryer, buying right. home goods and accessories. Um, but this is flipping the switch on that. So it's, it's selling like to- Like transactions. Exactly. It's selling to the Aritzias or, or the Saks Off Fits. Um, and so that's, that's what we focus on. Um, and it's, it's been quite exciting for us. I think we just hit 16,000 retailers uh, when we announced our Q2 report a couple of days ago. I love that. Yeah, it's funny because um, I've always wanted even for our software to provide like payment plans mm -hmm. and then um, work with a merchant like a, a sizzle to do that. So, okay, amazing. And then um, the average sales cycle, what would you say like the average sales cycle in, in ticket prices? It's, it's, it, it really varies so much. And I think it could be, it's related to um, the platform they're on. If you're yeah. on a Shopify, for example, you can get up and running in 15, 20 minutes, even if you've never seen a computer before. Uh, but for enterprise retailers, of course, the cycle is much longer. Um, yep. There are people that I'm still talking to that I've started speaking with last summer. Um, so it, it varies a lot. Um, you could have a demo and get them signed up on the call or, or you could be talking to them for a few months. So it, it's, it's really tough to put an exact range on it. Awesome. So, so you guys get an idea for what Ryan sells at, at Sizzle and you know, what, what's great is, you know, I, I saw the results and I saw the rewards, you know, of, you know, you generating multiple six figures in income, you driving over $1.5 million in sales. For, for Cezzle, can you share just a little bit about the before life selling, the afterlife selling, you know, leveraging Seamless and the strategies and the execution play playbooks that you ran, and then the results, because that's what this show is all about. Yeah, and th that's a great question. Um, I always, I think growing up, whether it be in, in middle school and high school, I, I had a feeling that I was going to do something in sales. Um, I actually started, and the, the thing that kind of spurred me into doing it was um, me and one of my good buddies started um, working in lawn care. I think it was what, maybe our junior, senior year of high school, um, just going to like places. Like the best thing to do putting, in high school. Yeah. Putting fertilizer, you're outside, you're getting a nice tan, making decent living. But those chemicals are terrible. Like they're, they're awful to ingest. Yeah. So I was like, okay, do I put like, not a mask that we're wearing now for COVID, but like a, a pretty intense, like medical grade mask to avoid getting and I've got one cancerous. of those. I've got exactly. one of those. Dude, they're like, they hurt your face. No, I didn't like it. Well, I only got to wear it for two days because I got a call from my boss. So I was like, hey, you're scaring customers. Uh, I can't have you wearing that. I'm like, well, I don't want to walk around without a face mask. Uh, this, I, I, I just am not willing to do that. She's like, well, we're going to have to let you go. It's like, well, okay. I mean, if that, if that's the case, like, so be it, I'll have to go find something else. Um, so I actually went and eventually started selling for their, their largest competitor. Um, oh, wow. just, it was probably a, a little bit out of spite. Um, but at the same time, I, I think I noticed that that just kind of clicking in a drive personally for myself. And of course I, I wasn't exactly thrilled by selling lawn care. It's not exactly as, as riveting as selling software is going to be, but I realized the potential like you're, you were back then five or so years ago working with, I mean, booklets of leads and you'd have maybe a phone list where you would have to manually import everything wow. and you'd go on a route and you'd drive around from house to house to house. And of course you can, the earning potential was decent back then, but I mean, it's nothing was automated. Everything is your handwriting and then importing things onto this incredibly antiquated system. And it's just a hassle. And so I, I went to school. I didn't work my, my freshman year of college. I went to the University of Minnesota. Um, sophomore year, I, I did some accounting stuff at um, one of the schools just uh, within the university. And I was like, there's got to be something more. There's got to be a way for me to make more, use my talents, um, my like, knowledge just about the business world. And so I started selling for a company called Blacksmith. It's a web design and development agency uh, out of Phoenix. Awesome. And it was, the experience was great. Um, I was an SDR and I had basically what we call the sales admin that would get leads. I don't even know how he would comb and, and get leads, but then import them. And then I would run my own cadences. But a lot of the, I mean, the emails had bounced back, the calls are and, and the data was inaccurate. 
Um, and then eventually after that, I had a few other internships during school, but I found Sezzle uh, right at the beginning of my senior year back in 2018. And I, I had continued to think about just kind of my experience in the past, just with lead generation, the tools that we had used. We had tested Zoom at, um, at Blacksmith and it worked well, but it was just kind of tedious and it's, as we all know, very expensive. Um, and that's something that we use at Sezzle and I think there's value in it in just finding that kind of hierarchical um, uh, just values, but like within an organization. Um, but then I found Seamless when I was trying to really determine for not only myself, but other interns that were going to come on board. I was the first intern that Sezzle ever hired. I think I was like the 25th employee wow. that we had back then. Now we're at 170 globally, and this is in less than two years. Um, and so, so Seamless was one of the tools that I started to pick up, and I didn't use it a ton at first. Um, it was a part of my arsenal and lead generation, but I s slowly started to notice that I was getting more cell phone numbers than I was really with any other tool. Okay, Zoom's going to give me pretty accurate email data. Um, it'll give me some office phone numbers. Great. But as we all know, in, in sales, you're trying to reach a decision maker, getting them on their cell is going to be the most effective. And so I, I slowly started to realize that when I'm looking at someone's profile on LinkedIn and I'm trying to call a decision maker, someone below it, Seamless has got to be my go-to to find that accurate data. And it was the quickest way to do it. Um, quick, of course, really easy to import into Salesforce. Um, and so I slowly started to, to book more meetings than, than the reps that I was working with. Um, and, and begin to close more accounts. Um, and I think I've, I've solely signed up um, around 500 of our, our 16,000 retailers wow. um, just alone um, in the last less than two years. And I think uh, I can't attribute all of it to Seamless, of course, but I think it's definitely played a part in being able to find accounts quickly um, and find contact data that in the past, I mean, obviously, with, if I was working with the same system as I was at, at True Green. I wouldn't find that, but it, it's just making it much more agile for me. And um, now I think it's uh, the more important thing is we're bringing on interns for our ca uh, Canadian team in particular, and it's a part of our onboarding process. It's a part of our suite for lead generation. Um, and even as I start to focus more on um, kind of the post discovery calls and I'm not doing as much lead generation generation as I used to do as an SDR, it's still something that I use in my first or second um, time that I'm trying to find contact data. So it's, it's been very effective for me. That's awesome, man. So 500 accounts and you said that resulted in over what? $1.5 million in sales. Well, in, in the last year and a half. And I mean, that's, that's, I wouldn't call it an, like ARR, but that's, I mean, we've got one year contracts with these retailers where this it's, that's processing revenue. That's, these are retailers that like I it, it, it could have, be forever. It could be yeah, like, that's, could That's like 500 million, million plus um, in like on online or what we call underlying merchant sales. And we tend to process, like I was saying before, 10% of that. And then our fee revenue is a cut of that. And so that, that small portion, that fee revenue um, has been, I think the, the last report around 1.5 mil and that's not going to stop growing. I love that. Well, congr huge congratulations on you know, winning seven figure presence club. Um, let me, let me get you, let me, I'm going to stop sharing this fake zoom background, uh, just to show you the award. So, you know, as we had mentioned, and I'm at my home office here. Um, when you, when you hit the award, we get this massive seven figure club All credit right. for you. And what we'll do is, um, my assistant will reach out and we'll get your name, name, company, you know, you name it, and then we're coming out. The next award is the Eight Figure Club Award. And we're uh, on our way. Dude, what's also great about your story, too, is like you said you hit record income numbers, too. Like, can you yeah. talk about, you know, before Seamless and before Sezzle, like, and you can use exact numbers or ranges or whatever. What were you making before, and then what were you making now? I mean, it, it's, it's hard to compare as I was, um, I was an intern and working part time. But I think for me, even last year working half of the year as an intern, half of the year as full time, I took a whole month off with my girlfriend to, to go to Asia right after school was done. Um, and I was making the same amount, if not more than the full time reps and uh, making I, I was just realizing like this potential is amazing. And I think that the one thing that I realized and, and I tell all of the interns that come on board now is it, it is truly about the output 
like what, what you put into, whether it be prospecting or making that extra dial or, or going above and beyond to get accurate data is going to get you in a, a much better position to, of course, push the company to, to heights that it's never seen before, but then make the, make the money that you realize can, can put you in the life that you want to have. Um, like I, I grew up and both of my parents are, are teachers and they work incredibly hard. Um, and I, I wanted to have kind of the life that they gave me um, and growing up with a family of, of two brothers and sisters and being able to do a few things. And I'm like, I want to take it a step further and I know I can do and make more. Um, and so being able to, uh, even during school, um, make upwards of a, a hundred grand and, and just have the ability to nearly pay off all of my student loans um, where I, I pretty much took out a, a loan for all four years of school and, and didn't, I mean, I, I couldn't pay for it. My, my family couldn't afford it. And I, I knew it was going to be a difficulty for me. And I think the ability to come back and, and sit here pretty much now, just a month, a year and a month after graduating from school and being practically done with my, what was supposed to be 10 year loans. It, it feels pretty damn nice. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, you know, nearly half a million in income, over $1.5 million in sales. And, and that's just getting started because you've got more recurring revenue in the future on those deals. Um, yeah. Next year, what do you think you could do? Like, are we going to see you in the, in the eight figure club, $10 million in sales by, by middle or end of next year, you think? I think there's a, there's a good chance. We've got some nice stuff in the pipeline. We'll just got to push it over the edge. That's awesome, man. Well, that's the goal. Um, love hearing your success story and, and we're honored and thrilled to, to help you. Like obviously you put in the work and you, you, you put together the strategies and the secrets. And then, you know, we try to give you the tech to help automate all the, the non-selling work and, and connect mm -hmm. you with the right people to create opportunity. But you have to leverage that and create the opportunity. So we're super happy for you and uh, can't wait to ship your award. Hold on. Let me hide that fake thing again. Can't, <laughs> can't wait to ship this to you, man. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to put it on the wall. Um, obviously, you can see all these seven screens in the uh, mirror here. But uh, no yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's massive. So you have to find a place to, to put your award. And then um, what advice do you have? There's going to be a lot of people here. People who have, made, who have won the Six Figure Presidents Club Award. And they want to get to the seven figure club award like yourself and make over a million dollars in sales. There's people who have made zero dollars in sales. They just joined the platform. You know, what advice do you have anyone from beginner to expert, like to win the, to, to win club and then to get to the next level? Like what, what would you say? Yeah, I, I'd say I have a, a couple of things that have really impacted me in a positive way. I think the first one is just trying to be as efficient as possible. And the way I do that is just by blocking off time. This is going to be the time that you're using for cold calling. This is the time that you're responding to, to customer really focused emails. Um, know what you need to send at what period of time. Um, and I think that's going to help you be a lot more efficient. And then always be filling your pipeline. And I, I don't think that's a very unique piece of advice at all, but it's never, it's not something that can be overstated. Um, I think if you, you're always taking an hour a day to add contacts, if you're using Seamless and exporting that and adding it to a, uh, adding it to a cadence, you can always be adding more. There are always con retailers or in my perspective um, or companies that you're reaching out to, there are always going to be more new ones are even popping up every day. Um, and so always be filling that funnel because that compounds, you're going to continue to get more responses, more meetings on your calendar. And that of course is going to lead to signing up more accounts. And, and for me, that's been effective, even as an account executive, making sure that I'm, I'm spending an hour a day and adding new accounts, um, or even going back in. And I think it's important to keep in mind the accounts that you have been reaching out to you and maybe haven't found traction in go back and look for other contacts. Look for people that are working either alongside of or under the person that you might think is a decision maker and try at it from a different angle. Um, because a lot of times I think we'll, we'll, we talk about filling the funnel and prospecting a lot and adding something. Um, we talk about using seamless to, to go over the nuances of the um, not automa automated portions of our day. Um, and then we tend to forget about it. You, you say, oh, okay, I, I added this account. And if you don't get a response, many times you could just forget about it. Keep those in mind. Set a dashboard up in Salesforce where you can track, okay, these accounts haven't been responded to. I've been reaching out for a while. 
go back and reset, find new contacts. Um, and so for me, I think that the key, it all, it all does start with that prospecting. It all starts with the tools that you're using um, and never stop filling the funnel. Man, I love hearing that. Consistency, daily consistency, um, time blocking, and it, it sounds like the persistent, consistent pursuit to, to maximize your potential and always improve, man, and always be filling the funnel. You could add contacts every single day of the week. Like, make yep. sure you do it, and then it sounds like you, you just kept increasing the bar. If I research 10 people today, I'm going to research 20. If I research 20 people, I'm going to research 50. 50 to 100, just keep moving it up. You could always do more and figure out how to do it smarter, better, faster. Uh, with technologies like seamless and then just putting in the work. That's amazing, man. Well, exactly. Hey, Brian, congrats on winning the seven figure presidents club. We're, we're thrilled. Thanks, to Brandon. The club. 10 mil by next year, 10 million in sales by the end of next year. And, today. Uh, we've already had a few people win the eight figure club award. Uh, the 10 milli where, where we're actually going to fly every winner like we're probably going to have an all-inclusive resort, which will be perfect timing because uh, COVID will hopefully clear up. But we, we, we're having a big eight-figure award ceremony. And um, let's get you there. Well, that's and the goal. It's going to be awesome, man. So congrats. And then where can people connect with you, follow you, learn free from you and more? The, the company and then also you personally. Take a look at Sazzle.com. We've got our 15,000 plus retailers, right? As a, basically an online catalog there. Take wow. a look at, at who we work with and check out the platform. It's, it's very customer friendly. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm quite active. I post quite a bit. Um, should have some of my own content coming out here shortly. So I'm very, very excited to announce that. Um, awesome. and I'm, I'll be launching my own brand here shortly. So antihero13.com. Um, keep an eye on that. That should come out here in the next couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. What was it again? Antihero13.com. I'm, I'm building a site for a menswear brand out of, out of Toronto, so I'm pumped to launch that. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Well, Ryan, thank you again so much. Appreciate your success story. And everyone watching this, you know, I know our goal, your goal is to get to the seven-figure club and then the eight-figure club and the nine-figure club. You know, leverage Ryan's story, his, his um, performance, his strategy, his expertise, and his success is motivation. If Ryan can do it, so can you. If I can do it, so can you. We've got thousands of people that are winning President's Club, the six-figure club, seven-figure club, eight-figure club every single month. And if someone like Ryan can do it, they're no better, no, no more special than, than me or you. You know, Learn from his story. Learn from his success. Put in the work and, and let's make it happen. It's all up to you. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And congrats again, Ryan. My system will be reaching out and we'll get your address info and uh, make sure we get that thing printed to you ASAP to hang on the wall. Right up on the wall. Let's go. Awesome, man. 